Howdy do to you guys. Today I wanted to share a couple things I have purchased. That was a weird noise that just came out my throat. I wanted to share a couple things I've purchased. One thing for the kitchen that I have bought, I was inspired by Ali Cherry. I saw that she carted this around with her. It was the Clean Canteen 60 ounce stainless steel cup. And I also got, it's a re-fleece koozie. These suckers get super hot and you need that. I like it and I'm pretty messy with it and I kind of like this thing because it soaks up all of my mistakes. <laughs> and I just like being able to throw this in my bag. I always used to use mason jars, but I've broken a lot of mason jars in my day because I use them for to-go drinks. This is really durable and that's what I liked about it. Next on the list is a new face wash. I have the Pacifica Seafoam Complete Face Wash. Um, I haven't had a face wash like this in a while that really kind of, I don't wanna say strips my skin because it doesn't completely strip my skin, but I have dry sensitive skin. This one is almost too drying for my skin. I like it and I'm gonna continue using it. I just follow up with an oil-based moisturizer and my skin is fine. I kind of had a freak out moment of doing research on the chemicals used in beauty products and I was like, no way Jose. So I'm trying to, and I've been trying to switch over to more natural products for a while now. And then I have splurged slightly, um, but totally worth it for some RMS beauty products. And I got two things from them. I've had my eye on their Uncover Up and I got the color 22. I was kind of worried it was gonna to be too dark, but it's actually the perfect shade for um, concealer for me. And I think it will, and I think it will transition nicely into the winter. We'll see, I get really pale in the winter. It covers up really nicely. Kind of my lavish purchase from them that I didn't really need was their Living Luminizer. I love dewy skin, and so I picked this up as well. And it's kind of like a highlight, but I can't do glitterly, glitter, glittery, I can't do glittery highlights, and I liked the wet look it gave. I'm not, my face doesn't do well with powders. It creates problems that weren't there. Not zits, but pores and creases and just weird texture things. So I my face does better with creamy products rather than dry products. So those are the two things I picked up. And then I also got, they give you a little sample. I love free samples. So I got the Promise Lip to Cheek Tint, all of which I am wearing today. We'll do some swatches, because I think that's what people do with makeup sort of things. So you can't really see it that well, but that's the cover up, that's a luminizer, and that is the blush. And these aren't blended in, because if you blend them in, they all disappear. See how perfect that is? That one doesn't necessarily blend in, but it gives a nice just glow. And then I really, lo I really like, um, like stains for cheeks and lips. And so it's barely their makeup. But if I do say so myself, I really like the way it looks. That's what I'm wearing right now. I just feel like, look how dewy and just beautiful. I feel this, I always feel great and I feel it's very light and it's, it's like not wearing makeup makeup. And I love that. And I have a zit right over here. And I like how it doesn't completely, it's not like a cakey cover up uh, concealer. It still shows all of my imperfections, but I like how it looks. Those are all the recent purchases that I made that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm pretty impressed with all these products. Until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.